So we have said that an assignment statement produces an object on the right hand side and then labels that with the name of the variable that appears on the left hand side of an assignment statement. Our friend is doing this experiment and believes that a variable and the object that it labels are the same thing but it's important to remember that a variable is just like the baggage tag it can be moved in fact in this REPL if our friend had just done a few more experiments like let us say this you could do a different assignment statement this time you're calculating a different object notice that's inside quotes so stuff inside quotes is a string. Now we would move the label x away from the integer object. We would move it to this string object. We would, if we asked what is the type of x, this time the REPL would say it's of uh, class stir. It's a stir object. So it doesn't make sense to say that the integer, the, that x has a particular type int. x could move. It's the object that it labels which has a type. By the way, if now we try to calculate x plus 1, we will get an error message. This error message, once again, uses a technical term. It says type error can only concatenate stir, not int, to stir. That's a little hard to read. Let me try and explain what's going on. When we use the plus operator, with integer objects, we know what happens. It's addition. With uh, a string object like x, you can also do a, a plus operator. That will concatenate or glue together strings. But this error message is telling us that although this is a string, this is an int. And Python doesn't know how to glue a string and an int. It says we can only concatenate or glue together strings and strings. So as a quick side experiment, if I set x to the string 1947, and I say what about concatenating the string August with x? So in this case, plus is gluing together August and whatever x is. X, remember, is this string object. So we're gluing August and 1947 together. And when we press enter, we'll get August 1947. Notice there's no space over here because we just simply glued those strings directly together. So this misconception that our friend has is very understandable because just like our friend, you will often hear people, including me, speak loosely like this. You know, the value of x is such and such. The value of this variable x is such and such. Or this variable is of a certain type. This is loose language. I've used this slightly wavy outline to indicate that this is not very precise. A more precise way of saying something like this is that the value or the type of the object that x labels is such and such. And by the way, that is the object that x currently labels or is currently assigned to. As this example shows, I can move that label to a different object. So it doesn't make sense to say that a variable is of a fixed type like int. It could move. So it's the object that it currently labels that has a fixed type. And then as we uh, modify the label, it could move to an object of a different type. And similarly, it could move to an object of a different value. So it's the object that has a value. It's the object that has a type. The variable itself is merely a label. So we say that variables in Python are dynamically typed. At any given point in the program, when you come to this point and you say, can I calculate x plus 1? Well, it depends on what x is currently referring to. If x was referring to an integer, then absolutely you can calculate x plus 1. But if later on, at this point, x refers to a string object, you cannot add a string and an integer together because plus uh, corresponds to concatenation for strings and it corresponds to regular addition for integers. And Python doesn't know how to do this combination. 
Now, I want to warn you that there are many other languages that you might encounter, including the C programming language, which we will see later on in this course. And in that language, variables are not dynamically typed. When you create a variable, and we shall see how to do that later on in those languages, at the time of creation, the type of the variable is fixed. Those are called statically typed languages. Python, however, is dynamically typed. Keep this metaphor in mind that a variable is just like a label. You can move it from one suitcase to another. It doesn't care what type of suitcase it is. You can attach the label to different types of objects.